street fight match coming up. Two tough Tony and Mad Men Pondo in the ring awaiting the arrival of Hammerjack. And there he is out of nowhere. Pondo oblivious to Hammerjack. Hammerjack cuts him out. Big uppercut takes Pondo down. Big clothesline from Hammerjack. Two count only. We have a handicap situation thus far in this street fight matchup. Two tough Tony and Hammerjack swapping punches. These guys come to fight as my broadcast colleague makes his way back up here once again. Hammerjack, absolutely one of the top four favorites in crossfire wrestling here, but somehow he is in a handicapped situation, and I'm not sure how he's going to escape this. Well, basically what happened was the Juggalos laid out the challenge. Hammerjack, he don't back down from anybody, anywhere, anytime, ever. So he accepted the challenge. Even though the odds are severely against him, Hammerjack fights on. That's what he does. He's Hammerjack. He fights. Hammerjack absolutely never been one to back down. But he just may have overstepped his own boundaries right here. Put his very health in danger, his very career on the line by simply stepping in the ring in this street fight matchup against two of the craziest men to ever grace the sport of professional wrestling. I'm talking about Mad Man Bondo and Two Tough Tony. Well, when I think about guys like Two Tough Tony and Mad Man Pondo, one word comes to mind, and that word is violence. These guys, they're the epitome of violence. You know, if you've ever seen these guys in action before, they're not really what, I mean, you think of as professional wrestlers. These guys are fighters. They're brawlers. They're biters. They're stabbers. They're, they're anything they want to do because nobody stops and nobody tells these guys what to do. They're as mean and nasty as they want to be. And that's just the way it is. I mean, kudos to Hammerjack for having the courage to fight them both. But, I mean, at what cost? At what cost, Biggs? You're absolutely right. You know, I did a Google search for these men's criminal records. I was going to bring it, but I ran out of ink. Yeah, I bet. I ran out of paper, too. These guys, no stranger to danger by no means. These guys came to fight, and a fight it is, and a fight it will continue to be until one man can't finish. Well, I don't know how much of a fight it is. Right now, it looks more like a two-on-one beatdown. Hammerjack on the receiving end of that. Look at that. Too tough. Tony just busting him in his face. Hammerjack, I, I just don't know what he was thinking except for this. I mean, oh, no. Oh, no. Pondo laid him out, hit him in the face, in the face with his helmet. Now too tough Tony, borrowing seats from the fans. This can't go good. Absolutely not. These guys antagonizing the crowd with every ounce of energy in them. Not sure what Hammer Jack was thinking when he signed this matchup. Never wanted to back down, but he should have really given second thought to this particular situation. Well, and it goes all the way back to the very first Crossfire event. Hammerjack has been fighting for his life since day one here in Crossfire. He's, he's faced Raven, Rhino, Too Tough Tony, when I went, oh no. And so many others, we didn't know who. Who was the man, the mystery man that put the price on Hammerjack's head? Well, we found out later on, none other than the devious, the evil taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan. Well, Kevin Sullivan couldn't get it done for himself. That's why he's got his boys here tonight, the Juggalos, two on one against Hammerjack. Hammerjack's dead meat, I mean, look at it, this is awful. You're exactly right, you know, last time the crossfire graced the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, you just said it, the taskmaster, one of the most evil men in professional wrestling, came in, he was trying to make a human torch out of Hammerjack, and my memory shows it correctly. He doused the man in lighter fluid, he was on the way back, 
what is going on here. He was on the way back with the torch, but Hammerjack trying to mount a comeback. 2 on one situation. It's not doing him any good thus far. And the odds are just too much for Hammerjack. As much as this man believes in what he's doing, as much as he believes in being here as a part of Crossfire, as much as the fans believe in him, what can he do on this onslaught being thrown on him by the Juggalos, Two Tough Tony, and Madman Pondo? This is not it. It's, I mean, it's a street fight, but basically, it's just a beatdown. Hammerjack's going to get killed. Here they go, making their way to the other corner of the arena. Kind of out of our line of sight. I'm trying to, my damnedest to catch a glimpse of what's going on here, Eric Camaro. I know you've got to work out yourself, running back and forth from one end of this building to the other. Now Hammerjack's getting a taste of it. You just didn't have chairs flying at you in the process. Absolutely, I'm glad for that. Well, I wouldn't want to be in Hammerjack's position for nothing in the world right now. I mean, and as much as gone on here tonight, this is just pure violence. I said it earlier, Juggalos equal violence, especially in this case, Too Tough Tony, Madman Pondo. They've built their reputations in the world of professional wrestling as being two of the most violent people to ever step into the ring. Hammerjack's facing both of them at the same time. What's he thinking? I'm not sure what he's thinking. The crowd has hovered around him to the point that we can't even see what's going on. From our broadcast position up here, perching the crow's nest at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, something devious, if I had to guess, it can't be good. The lack of cheers from the audience let us know that Hammerjack is obviously not on top of this situation at the moment. Absolutely not. I mean. What a night it is. We're going to see a new champion right here tonight. Uh, you know, like you said, Biggs, I, I can't really see what's going on, but I can hear. I can hear a huge impact, and I can hear the fans. They're, they're oohing and on over there, and I, I can't see what's happening. I, just, I can't see what's going on. Oh! Hey, 
just tased Hammerjack. These guys are capable of absolutely anything. I'm telling you, when I told you these guys were violent, believe me, they will do anything. They love to hurt people. It ain't about winning this match. It's probably not even about impressing Kevin, Kevin Sullivan. It's more about just wanting to hurt Hammerjack. And so far, so good for them. Uh-oh. They definitely don't need the bounty money because I know they got women lined up from one end of the trailer park to the other. Oh, man! What a devastating maneuver right there. Brings Hammerjack into the ring the hard way. He's been trapped, he's been tased, he's been beat down. Now he's been dropped the legs across the back and brought back into the ring. What's going on here? We're going for a cover back. All three count, these guys are obviously here just to deliver punishment. Good job, Tony going for the cover there, gonna pick up the win. Madman Pondo, well he got his name for a reason, the guy's nuts, he's a madman. Stops the three count, he's got something else in mind, and it can't be good. They're sending the chairs into the ring. Not one, not two, there's a third one. Hammerjack at this point should probably just run away. I know he's not gonna do that, but that would be my advice to him. Hammerjack, run away. Just get away from these guys. This could end this man's career. We could be witnessing the end of Hammerjack right here, right now. Absolutely, I would have to agree with you there, Mr. Eric Camaro. In the interest of self-preservation, Hammerjack should leave this one alone, live to fight another day. It's about longevity, not the immediate win. I don't think Hammerjack sees it that way. Absolutely not, you know. Hammerjack's a competitor. He's a fighter. He fights for himself. He fights for all the people here in Nashville, Tennessee that love him so much. I mean, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking what we're seeing right here because Hammerjack has fought so valiantly for so long. Oh my God, look at that. Very knees to the face right there. I think this is the end of Hammerjack. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hammerjack earning his comeback against Kyle Owens. Oh, yeah. Hammerjack going for the cover. One, two, no. Boy, that would have been sweet if he could have got that pinfall and got out of Dodge. But it didn't work out that way. Too tough Tony on the case. Madman Pondo, these guys have hardly taken a beating at all in this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What is this? Oh! Right on the steel chair, planting Hammerjack. Face first. Look at him clutching his neck immediately. I'm afraid this is it. This is the end of Hammerjack. It has definitely done some severe damage to the vertebrae, to the neck structure right there. Not sure exactly where they're going with this, but they wheelbarrowed Hammerjack and dropped it right on his neck. Important announcement, I gotta go real quick. Not exactly sure where our broadcast comedy guy, Camaro, is going right this moment, but something's going on. These guys going up, both men in the corners. They got a hammerjack up on the turnbuckle. Where are they going with this one? A pile of chairs right there. What is going to happen? Starts so flip it to a power bomb on the three chairs. They could have just murdered hammerjack right in the middle of the ring. One count and they break it. What else can they do to this man? Are you kidding me? Eric Camaro is missing in action. I'm sure exactly where he's at at this point. I don't know.
Camaro down there close to the action. No way. No way. A bottle of alcohol there. We've seen this before from Kutev Tony. The flammable properties alone is enough. And that's just what he had left over from drinking. What is this? Maniac Mark Anthony, are you kidding me? As if Hammerjack didn't have enough problems. Mark Anthony taking the side of Hammerjack. Are, oh, this is absolutely unbelievable. Mark Anthony wanted to take care of business. Two touchdowns is oblivious to Mark Anthony. He's got it going on. Big chair shot takes him down. Mark Anthony show. What is this? Throwing Hammerjack on top. Hammerjack victorious. the incident there has been a long devious and demented history between Mark Anthony and Hammerjack who would have ever thought Mark Anthony would be the one to save Hammerjack from his first save his very existence right here that could have been a very ugly situation Mark Anthony saves Hammerjack can you believe this